AI Sun T420D Dual Channel Smart Soldering Station. It comes with AC Pure Isolation. High Power Ring Transformer. By matching with the High Efficient Soldering System. It enables rapid heating and smart temperature control. Easily handle with complicated soldering requirements. Main Interface. Turn on T420D. We can see its main interface. The product name is displayed on the upper left corner. Further to the right are software version, booting time, temperature in the case, and the buzzer icon. T420D supports T24, 5T210, T115 handles. This time it is composed of T245 and T210 handles. The small number on the left represents the set temperature of the soldering tip. The three sets of numbers below represent the temperature shortcut channels. You can quickly switch temperatures here. The progress bar above the temperature channel represents the power of the soldering tip. Pick up the handle and the temperature rises sharply. Power increases rapidly. When the temperature stabilizes, the power drops sharply and stays steadily. The power will change according to the soldering conditions. Curve Interface Right-click to select the main interface of the T210 handle. Press the button in the middle of the soldering station to confirm. It will enter the curve interface of T420D. The red number on the left refers to the set temperature. The green number on the right represents the power of the soldering tip. The blue number below represents the time to enter the curve interface. Press the confirm button again to return to the main interface. Remote Upgrade T420D supports remote upgrade. Connect the Type-C cable to the computer. Then connect the other end to T420D. Download AISEN software from AISEN official website. Open AISEN software. The software will identify T420D automatically. Now we can see the latest version is 1.21. When a new version is released in the future, select the version you want to upgrade to. Click Upgrade, and it will be upgraded to the selected version. Temperature setting. Select the handle model to be set. Here we choose the main interface of T245. Long press the confirmation button to enter the setting interface of T420D. Select, Temperature. The first one is, Unit. We can set, Celsius, or, Fahrenheit. Press the left button to go back. The second one is, Channel. Users can set the temperature shortcut according to their needs. Press the right button to exit. We can see that the temperature shortcut channels below the T245 handle have been set completely. The third one is, Compensate. Users can compensate for the temperature difference based on the actual temperature of soldering tip. In temperature compensation, a digital thermometer is needed to measure the actual temperature of the soldering tip. Firstly, set the temperature of the soldering tip to 300 degrees Celsius. Place the soldering tip on the triangle thermocouple of the digital thermometer. It can be seen that the actual temperature of the soldering tip is 305 degrees Celsius. Set temperature compensation to minus 5 degrees Celsius. Back to the main interface. Then touch the triangular thermocouple with the soldering tip. The actual temperature of the soldering tip now is 300 degrees Celsius. It is the same as the temperature displayed on the host the temperature calibration complete. Standby setting. Enter the settings interface. Select, Standby. The first option is, Temperature. Users can set the temperature of standby mode according to their needs. Here we set it to 150 degrees Celsius. Exit to the main interface. The standby temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. Turn off standby temperature. The soldering tip enters normal temperature state. The second one is, Delay. Set the delay time to 5 seconds. Exit to the main interface. Pick up the handle, and then put it back. The handle goes into standby mode after 5 seconds. The third one is, Display. After turning on, when the soldering station enters standby mode, the logo of AI Sun will be displayed on the screen. Pick up the handle to exit this interface. The fourth one is, Sleep Time. It will exit the standby state after reaching the set time. Here we set it as 1 minute. Back to the main interface. The soldering tip enters to normal temperature state automatically after 1 minute. 
System Settings. Enter the Settings Interface. Select System. The first one is Language. We can set Chinese, English, and Russian here. The second one is Sound. If it's turned off, the station will enter mute state. The third one is Theme. Users can select Dark Mode or Light Mode. The fourth one is Reset. We can restore all settings of the device by clicking Restore All. Restore all settings related with temperature by clicking Restore Temperature. Exit to the main interface. We can see that all settings of temperature has been restored. Restore language. Restore to the default language. Restore standby. Restore to the default standby setting. The fifth one is time. We can see the booting time and the total working time of T420D. The sixth is system info. Here it includes version. In service, we can find the hotline, email, and official website. Produce. The production date of this T420D is October 9, 2023. The seventh is experimental feature. Security protection. The soldering tip will enter the protection state automatically after it is heated to the specified time. Here we set to 10 minutes. Pick up the soldering handle to heat it. It will enter the protection state automatically after 10 minutes. Touch the socket to continue heating. Power compensation. The current version supports T210 and T115 handles. You can select to turn on or turn off. After turning on, exit to the main interface. Set the temperature shortcut to 380 degrees Celsius. After recognizing that the soldering tip touches the tin point, the target temperature will be raised automatically to melt tin rapidly. After melting tin, it will recover to the normal value. Sleep stand detection. Turn on, double tap. Exit to the main interface. Pick up the soldering tip and double click the standby holder to switch the temperature of CH channel. Turn on, extractor settings. Return to the main interface. Stop heating after the soldering tip touches the swapping socket. Long touch the standby holder to start heating. Put the soldering tip back into the standby holder. As a dual channel smart soldering station, T420D has all the unexpected functions. Excellent experience always comes from self transcendence. In the future, T420D and AISON products will continue to innovate and transcend itself. Turn off T420D. Above is all the operation of T420D. To learn more about AISON products and software updates, please follow AISON YouTube channel or official website www.aixuntech.com.